hey what's up everyone so this video marks the beginning of a new course in which we are going to take a look at next.js so next.js is simply a react framework and many developers have uh, loved what next.js provides it has uh, very cool features like image optimization it has uh, different ways of fetching data like uh, server-side generation server-side rendering incremental static regeneration and we also have uh, static generation and all these ways of fetching data make a uh, next site to be seo friendly and rank higher on google so we'll be seeing examples of uh, this and we'll be also taking a look at other features which uh, Next.js provide. Now, in this video, I want us to take a look at the demo of the application that we are going to work on. So we are going to work on a simple uh, blog site. So right here is the blog site. We can explore it. At the top, we have the navbar. So we have a logo. We have some links on this side, and then a list of uh, the post. And uh, this is just like a summary or cards and you can see that we have the title the summary of our post when it was added and optionally we can include a thumbnail and then down here we just have the footer so at the moment i only have two posts and we can click on this one to get more details about it so when i click on it uh, you'll see it loads more details about it uh, and we don't have much on this one so let's go back and we can click on this one and when we click on this one uh, you'll see that it has some code snippet so i'll show you how you can create this and give it a theme using highlight js and then uh, you can have uh, the content down here you can include headings you can make text bold and include uh, maybe a list of stuff you can include images if you want and you'll be seeing how we can do this so as you can see this is a very simple site but it will help you to run uh, everything that you need to know about Next.js so that you can start creating your dream application using Next.js and your application will obviously rank higher on Google. So this is like the front end part of it. But how do we add this data? So we need some form of back end. So I didn't want to waste a lot of time when creating uh, APIs from scratch. Therefore, I made use of what we call a headdress CMS and a good example of a headdress CMS is contentful and this is what we are going to use in this particular course. So this will help us to get the backend up and running very fast because uh, it is a content management system which will allow us to model the data, add the data and we can uh, point to APIs that contentful provide and we also have another uh, headdress cms very popular one called strapi so in this case we are not going to use strapi although it's very similar to contentful the reason why i choose contentful over strapi is because uh, with strapi you'll have to like self-host uh, the backend or the strapi application so you'll need to host it on heroku and um, find a way to like manage the images by yourself so i didn't want to waste a lot of time on the backend I wanted us to focus on Next.js. So Contentful, on the other hand, we don't have to like uh, host it again. It will just be using some API keys to access our data, okay? We can try to like add a blog post using Contentful so that you see how it works behind the scene. So right here, I will, uh, the session expired. Let me reload the application. And I think I need to log in again. So I'll go ahead and log in. So once I am logged in, uh, this is now like uh, how it looks. We have different tabs to model the data, to add content, to add media, and some other settings. And then you can see we have uh, three posts right here. One of this one is the code snippet that we saw. I'll show you why it's uh, like uh, separate like this. And uh, let's just add an entry and you'll see how it works. So I'll add um, to Chao blog. Uh, that is like the content model. And let's have a man stack uh, tut, okay? Like a tutorial for the man stack. And you can see here we have what we call a slug. It is created from the name here and it is unique. So we'll, we will be using it as an ID in our next uh, application and then now right here we can have a summary just a tute 
just anything just show you how this is working we can add a thumbnail so i have already like uploaded a media for the thumbnail so i'll add from the existing media and i'll go with uh, this one right here i'll select it and uh, it is added right there and then now down here you can add rich text so with the rich text that means that you can add uh, bold italics and all this good stuff okay so uh let's say some rich uh, text okay and with this i can like highlight this make this bold uh you can highlight another one you can make it italic and underlined and so on and so forth and then down here you can have one and you can like create a bullet list or something okay and then two and so on and so forth so you can see why this is awesome okay and now i can come right here and publish once i publish uh, and come to the content you'll see that now we have this man stack tilt and when i come now to localhost uh, we don't have it yet but when i refresh uh, you'll see that it will be added now we have Manstack Tilt, uh, just a Tilt. And I think we added a thumbnail, which is not showing yet. Uh, yeah, there we go. So there's the thumbnail. And when you click on it, you can get to more details uh, about it. And uh, once I click, uh, there we go. So we have it like that. Uh, this is supposed to be an image. Uh, I have through internet or something. And then now right here we have the slug, uh, which is auto-generated from our title. So we'll be seeing how we can like set up Contentful and uh, make our site to work like this. And we'll be hosting it on Vassel. So Vassel is the company uh, that also created Next.js and also it provide a uh, free hosting and also premium hosting for Next.js applications. And uh, in case you're new here, my name is Charles. I'm a JavaScript developer and I create content around uh, JavaScript, CSS, Node.js, React. And if you are interested in such kind of content, you can uh, obviously uh, stock my YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe. Also, you can support me by joining as a member only at uh, $0.99, okay? And then uh, you can stock my other sites, stock my website. You can uh, buy me a coffee via, via PayPal. You can stock uh, my courses. And if you wish to reach out to me, you can uh, reach out to me via Twitter. Also, I highly recommend that you join my Discord server. Uh, so far, we are uh, more than uh, 70 members, so you will not be alone right here. Uh, come, greet us, uh, interact with us, ask questions, um, provide content, uh, and uh, showcase your project. You can also do video uh, suggestion and so on, okay? So, yeah, that is it for this video, and in the next video, we'll start taking a look at Next.js.